All right, thanks for joining us on a Friday. Happy I know we Friday. have some things. Happy Friday to you. Uh, you're always coming and giving us some good tips and tricks, things to think about. Today, foundation. I'm ready to <laughs> know, get into my foundation. I know foundation. that you're very curious as to of how course to pick your foundation. I, well, look at my face. I need some foundation yes. for crying out loud. Okay. I love foundation, and I know that a lot of people have a hard time figuring out what tone to buy. Yep. This revolutionized my life, so I want to share a tip with you. Look at your veins, okay? okay? Everybody look at their veins. Right, if they're hold. blue, that means that you're cool toned. Ooh. If they're green, that means that you're warm toned. If they're in between, that means that you're neutral. What so if mine are not like gravy color? Is that a problem? <laughs> gravy? No, I don't you know. have no, no blood okay. Go there. So see, I would say yours are green. What so am that's I? you're you're warm. You're green too. I'm, green? I'm blue, so I'm cool toned. When you go shopping for a foundation, wow. okay. all the foundations have a N, a C, or a W okay. when you're buying your shade. So Who if knew that? Except for you, that's great. <laughs> NC or W. What NC or W. So now you just have to find the shade. Sure, and yeah. I'm gonna, oh, uh, I'm neutral, gonna tell you. Neutral, cool, and warm. Yeah. Neutral, cool, and warm. Yes. If you're that's a darker, if you're a darker skin tone, look at the undertones in your skin. If you're pink undertones in your skin, then you are warm toned. If you have more like yellow undertones in your skin, you are warm. So those are the little wow. tips to know how to pick the undertones. That's why I love we, the show. That's why I love this. And we've been seeing like online, social media, TikTok, whatever. People have these hack moments where yeah. they're like, I can't. I just had that. <laughs> just right. just Revelation, there. right? All right, you've got okay. a bunch here. Another thing that you can uh, do to pick your foundation, like to figure out what the right color is, okay. is you put the foundation like this, and then what you do is you take a little bit and you press it into your neck. What you yeah. want to make sure to do is to match your foundation from your neck up. Blend. Because we want to match and be a whole person. People tend to match weird. their face. We know. And they and leave the neck face. out. No, we know. Right. So make sure that you go like this. If it doesn't show up as much, that's what you want it to look at. You want it to look like it's not there, but you want to go from neck up. Neck because up. our face gets you know, protected by some sunscreen. Hopefully you're wearing sunscreen all the time. And I'm guessing some of these products have sunscreen in them, right? Yes, some do, but okay. I don't rely on foundation okay. for my you sunscreen. You do your sunscreen, yeah. You I do it about separately. That uh, different ways that you can uh, also figure out what kind of foundation do you need. Do you need a lightweight foundation that has a dewy glow? Do you need something that is kind of fresh and natural, but it's buildable. This Dior one, the stage, uh, backstage face and body foundation, it's buildable. You can build it up to three times. This one is Charlotte Til Tilbury, and it's really lightweight. Um, now, if you want to do something more like a full coverage or medium coverage, go for something like a air brush flawless foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. It is a full coverage foundation, but it still looks like your skin. Now, if you're going for something bougie and you're going to a wedding or bougie. you're doing a photo shoot or you're doing something beautiful like that tan, you need, right? this is what I have on today, you guys. This is a very radiant finish foundation that is spray. You spray it on Ooh. and it's amazing. So wow. what you can do is, look, okay. you shake it up. You're gonna have stuff all over you. You spray it on no your way. hand. You spray on, and foundation? then you could also spray it directly on the face. But I like the uh, flexibility of being able to pick it up with a brush, and then with little circles you apply. Yeah. But all the guesswork of everything is on my YouTube channel because I show you how to put on these things, and that's how what we to need. utilize we need more them. Of those like aha uh -huh, hack moments. <laughs> totally. I need more of them. You I... can share this with your wife because literally when I learned that about the uh, undertone, it changed my life. I am able you to wear a foundation. You said revolutionized your life. I love. That. I love that. And that's what I'm here for. Well, the for spray, you I never heard of a spray yeah. foundation. Yeah, I love that one. That was one of my favorites. That's so cool. Uh, the YouTube, the Instagram, all of it is where we can find you and follow along. Yes. And the best tips yes. for, for everyone. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> and you brought this thing, too. You always bring this. I different. love a beauty it's blender. A yes, beauty that's blender. a great way to make your foundation look really nice. It's my nice. favorite. Yeah, it's because it feels <laughs> it's cool. Okay, it's so weird. <laughs> all right, we'll put up some information for Libby. She's great. She comes in on a Friday. Tells us all the information we need. Libier.com is where you can find her or head uh, onto our Instagram, follow along, uh, and make sure to.